some beautiful music there for you to enjoy on this Tuesday morning. And in fact, this morning we also welcome a different flavor of music to the show and we're enjoying the sounds of reggae, man. Now listen, for the past two decades, all nations uh, have been performing and promoting local, international and international reggae music and artists uh, in South Africa. Um, their most recent shows, of course, in South Africa have also included some of the biggest names in, on the African continent. And we have the privilege of having in studio with us Etana, Bushman and Turbulence. Welcome to the show. Soundcheck is sounding amazing, by the way. <laughs> it's sounding you. absolutely great. Tell me about your, your love for, for reggae, where it comes from and how you decided to group together as a band and, and do this for the love of it. Well, um, I'm Etana, as you know, we're all like separate artists. Um, the band is from here in, in uh, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Um, but my love for music started when I was like eight years old, when I discovered that I had a love for music. Mm. <laughs> I remember I was singing Greatest Love of All and the people were looking over the fence wow. when my aunt was washing her Just clothes. Just at home? At home. <laughs> and um, uh, this guy who owned a sound system came to get me and he said, you know, I'm going to take you to go sing on the mic. And that was my first time experiencing wow. music. Yeah. And what about you, gentlemen, singing. especially with your, your love for reggae? Well, my love for the music came in the church. Well, Jamaica is known for the most churches per square mile in the Guinness Book of World Record. So church has been a great influence on many of us as reggae artists. That's true. So my thing really starts in the church, you know? Mm -hmm. Discovering the voice, you know, singing Jesus love me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Uh -huh. And people telling you that your voice is unique. You know, so that was quite influential and really give me the courage to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And from there to school concerts and from school concerts to sound system and from sound system to the studios. Here we go. Bless it. From the choir. From the choir as well. <laughs> yes. I need to ask this when you say that because you're talking about singing in church and in the choir as well and the greatest love, completely not, not a reggae song, but when you were singing Jesus Love Me, Yes I Know, were you singing it with a bit of a reggae twist as in deep inside you there was already that, you know, Jesus Love Me, Yes. Be, be, basically, um, we would say folk. Folk sound. It's uh -huh. a folk sound and reggae really com comes from the backbone of folk sounds. Uh -huh. And folk is close to country and western also. Uh -huh. So when you get churchy calling it, it also sound of a country and western sound too, you know. Uh -huh. Like, let's go out in a blaze of glory. All good things must be like two heroes. Hear the story. Yeah, so it's more man. Church, you can't, like, yeah, man. And, you yeah, man. Loving Rastafari. that very much. And listen, yes. we can't wait to hear the live performance and, of course, broadcast it to all of South Africa, what we heard this morning. Yes. But, of course, um, if you don't have anything to do uh, for this weekend, then why don't you catch all of these guys? And, of course, you'll see the rest of the team uh, in a moment at the All Nations Reggae Festival this coming Saturday, the 12th of November, at the Castle of Good Hope here in Cape Town. And the doors will be opening at 5 p.m. Tickets ranging. Uh, between 250 online and 300 rand at the door. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks and we cannot me. wait to share the beautiful music. <laughs> right now, let's go to the break. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> yes. Yum! Yum! Yum.